Hey everybody, welcome back to part 4 in our series of how to play a song of Ice and Fire, the miniatures game on the tabletop simulator. In this video I'm going to show how to set up the game and how to deploy your armies. So let's get going. First thing you want to do is select the game mode and on the left side of the table there's this uh, game mode stack which contains all currently uh, available game modes. And you can use that to randomize which game you, you want to play. So just uh, press R on the keyboard, draw the top card, and then drop it into this area between the dice trays. And we'll flip over the card and deploy all the assets that are required. So like objectives, terrains, and any decks that are needed to play the game mode will be um, automatically deployed for you. Um, if you need a refresher of how the game mode plays, you can just um, hover over the uh, card, press Alt on your keyboard, and it'll bring up a big uh, version of it. Now keep in mind that the text on this card is abbreviated. So if there's any discrepancy between what the card says and what the uh, rule book says, the rule book is correct. In this case, we've chosen a Dance with Dragons, but let's say um, we, we're not happy with that. We maybe we want to play a particular game mode like um, Feast for Crows. Well, we can just take this back and put it back on top of our deck. And as you see, as soon as I draw it out of that uh, zone, all the game, uh, objectives that have been spawned are removed as well. So if I want to choose a particular game mode, I can just right click the deck, search, and then I can search for the game mode. So let's say I want Feast for Crows, I'm going to start typing Feast, and then the list of cards is going to be reduced to uh, the relevant game mode. I can just take that, drop it right here, and as before, it will deploy all required assets. Next step is to roll up for uh, terrain placement and place terrain. So the terrain is hidden in this uh, box next to the game modes. And as with the army boxes, you just press place and it will unpack uh, this box and place all the terrain in neat little bags um, onto the table. From here, you can then uh, drag the terrain that you need or that you want to place and place it where you want it to be um, on the table. And remember, with the tab key, you can measure the distance between your terrain. So in this case, you want to make sure it's at least one inch away from your corpse piles here. And your opponent might do the same. So let's say he fancies a bog and again places it somewhere. Measures, no, not good. Yeah, this looks good enough. So that's how you place your terrain. When you're done with terrain placement, uh, you want to choose sites maybe. And let's say for some reason I fancy uh, the other side of the table, then I don't have to take all my army and carry it over to the other side. There are actually options here that help you do that. So on the upper left corner, there's this show terrain options button. When you press that, opens up this menu here. And there's the swap sites button. And if you press that, you see the battlefield just spins around and you effectively swap sites that way. When you're ready to start the game, you can then ready terrain or ready terrain and objectives. Why is there a difference? Well, what this does is, um, maybe I just demonstrate. If I press ready terrain, the terrain is sunk into the table so that it's flush with the table, making uh, movement easier. And it will also lock the terrain so that you don't accidentally move it about. See, so I can't really move the bog anymore. But I can still pick up uh, the objective tokens, which in this game mode is useful because we want to pick up the <laughs> objective tokens. But in a game mode like uh, Game of Thrones, um, you also want the uh, objective tokens to be flush with the table. And if you want to do that, just click Ready Terrain and Objectives. And now I can't pick up the uh, objective token either. It's flush with the table. 
if you did that by accident in a game where you shouldn't have done it, like I did now. Uh, the fix is to unlock the objective again. So just point on the objective, press L, and then pick it back up. And it yeah, comes right out of the table. This is how you uh, ready your terrain. Um, there's a few more options. You can also clear terrain and objectives if you made a mistake there. You can also customize the uh, battlefield a little bit. So um, the default, it will be random actually, <laughs> but you can choose a different one. So say you want to play on Backwater Bay or Mama's Fort or on the wall. Okay, so here you can choose uh, what you want your um, table to look like. And you can also choose the background. So if you look around, I'll zoom out a little bit. See, we're in this ruin here, okay? But if you, uh, for example, like to play in a nice cloister, you can do that too. So that looks nice. Or if you uh, fancy a mountaintop, there you go. So this allows you to just customize your gaming experience a little bit. Uh, if you no longer need the terrain options, just push the high terrain options button and hides them away. One last thing that I just want to point out very quick is the following. Um, when an objective card is placed onto an objective token, um, the token basically is imprinted with the ability of the card. So you don't need the card necessarily. You can also just point onto the token. It will give a short description of what it is. And if you hover longer over it, you get the full text uh, that's printed on the card. So once you're done setting up and choosing which side, it's time to deploy your army. You deploy the army by just simply dragging it and placing it in your deployment zone. And um, the uh, mod will also uh, draw a line where your de deployment zone ends. So you can move it up just right onto this line and that, that should be fine. Uh, when you're done deploying the unit, you should press battle ready, moves it to the battle ready state. You see how the buttons have changed and the uh, unit is now locked. So it doesn't move on its own anymore. And the way that movement works is something that I will be explaining in the next video. So I hope you found this one useful and see you next time. Remember to stay hydrated. Cheers.